Meanwhile, the Florida Panthers in their quest for the Stanley Cup. But guess what? Uh, somebody's got it. Our own Ian Margle catching it before the Panthers do back in our studios with the keeper of the cup. Ian? Will, I need you to meet my new friend. This is Stanley, 131 years old. Looks pretty good for 131 too, right? Nearly three feet tall, 37 pounds. It is very cool that this is in our studio right now. And with me, one of the keepers of the cup, Mike Bolt. Mike, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. First question, do you want to switch jobs? No. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy what I do. I've been working for the Hockey Hall of Fame since 90, 1995, and I got this job in uh, late 99. and started traveling in 2000, and uh, it's been an honor and a privilege to do it. It's taken me around the world, and I've met a lot of interesting people. You get to see the highest point in so many of these guys' lives. Talk to me a little about, we see the names here on the bands on the bottom. This is a unique thing. There aren't a lot of championship trophies in the world that have this kind of Yeah, feature. it's got every team represented on here dating back to 1893. Now we have a five ring format here, and this year's winner is gonna go right down here and they'll be on the cup for 60 years before the, uh, they eventually move up and off the cup. This band's gonna come off in eight years, go into the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, and then we'll put a new ring on the bottom. And that happens every 13 years that the cup fills up and a ring goes off. So you were saying Panthers names will go just sort of right. The team that wins the cup will be going right there. <laughs> very diplomatic, very well done. Where can people catch the games uh, yeah. starting well, it Saturday? It all starts on Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern on TNT, TBS, and True TV. So we hope everybody tunes in and cheers on uh, whoever their favorite team is. Mike Bolt, thank you so much for spending some time with us. We really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for bringing Lord Stanley by. This is very, very cool for me as a hockey fan. I know you guys all know I am absolutely geeking out and trying to keep my cool. Mike can attest, I am failing. Uh, so I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio before I say something. Uh, I saw Ian out there once the trophy arrived. I said, Ian, I think you're smiling bigger than you were on your wedding day. I'm sorry, Tori, but I think it's the truth. <laughs> and what did I say, Nicole? I said, don't, don't tell, tell my her. wife. And then what did you just do? I just told her. <laughs> I think that studio door locks to allow the trophy out, but not the gentleman next to you. Obviously. Well, you know. <laughs> he doesn't he can't know hear anything. That. So he doesn't exactly. Know. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said that. Okay. Thanks Thank a lot, guys. Ian and Clay Ferrero are getting ready to leave for Las Vegas to cover the Stanley Cup final. Look for live reports on Game One, which happens once again on Saturday.